Hi, this is a demonstration video on how I clean a laser pickup lens on this CD player. Uh, this CD player works fine for most CDs, but there's a couple that it doesn't play, and I don't know why, because they play fine on other players. Um, it will actually play some of the tracks on some of these quote-unquote bad CDs, but um, you can tell that the, the, the player is really struggling to play. So I'm going to see, I know that the laser is dirty on this one, um, and I'll show you that a little bit here, but I don't know if that's the cause of this unit struggling to play those CDs. So um, in here, I'll show you this David Bowie won't play, and it is in premium condition. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no scratches. There's no dirt. It is clean and just says the day it was purchased. And it, like I say, it plays fine in other CDs. These other CDs work, play fine. Um, and, you know, this isn't the quickest loading CD player as far as, you know, uh, you know, playing the track, that first track really fast, but, um, so, it's on this too, which is that David Bowie one, and if I press play, you'll see it's just, it's not playing, it just, it's trying to, you can hear the electronics inside trying to focus and adjust, but it just won't play. But it will play some of the other uh, tracks. I mean, if I go to the, see, uh, if I go to, uh, oh, it's moving this, sorry. Back to, all right, we're gonna hit play again. Now I'm gonna go to a, a different track on here I'm just turning this, and you see it has a hard time just finding, like if I want to go to track 6 or 7, it just doesn't want to. Oh, there it goes. Now if I hit play, let's see if it plays it. Yeah, it's trying. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. All right, so now you see what it's doing. Now I'm going to, I'm going to go to the next disc, and if I can get it to. After a while, I think it kind of gives up, and it, so I'm just going to reboot the machine. And we'll go to the next CD here. We'll go to disc three. And that one should play fine. And I'll hit play. Come on. Oh, this one's not even playing. Try disc four. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This thing's kind of. I think I maybe hit too many buttons at once. Let me reboot it one more time here. Start over again. Let's see if it goes to disc three, which it should be able to play. Play here. Yeah, see this plays fine. So, and even if I go to, you know, different track, 
Jack 4, it starts playing, no problem. So I'll have to say, you know, I think I may have confused it earlier just with so many button presses. Although it shouldn't really do that, but it, who knows. So anyway, this is playing fine, and the other discs do play fine. It's just that number two, David Bowie. So what I'm going to do is take this unit apart, and I'm going to show you how dirty the lens is, and we'll clean it, and we'll see if it fixes it. I have no idea if this is going to work. But in any case, you can see how to clean a lens. At least this is how I do it. I don't, you know, you can do it however you like, but this is just my method. So I'm going to pause it here and take apart this unit real quick. And you can certainly fast forward if you like, because it's kind of the boring part. Turn the unit off and unplug it. So we don't get shocked. Two screws on either side, and then on the back. It's unplugged. It gets shocked. All right, so this is what the inside looks like. We're going to pull out the discs. Have to plug it back in here. Pull the discs out. on that lens. Let's get these out real quick here. And that's our disc that doesn't want to play. So we'll set these aside for the moment. And we can again unplug the unit to turn it off and unplug it. All right, so like I said, I haven't cleaned this one yet, but the, the, the lens is under here. Okay, it's hard to see it. So we're gonna pull this mechanism out. Um, in order to access it. So I'm going to put you on the other side here. So I'm going to pull this off and then we also have to take apart this. So you can see there are two pieces here this black piece and then the white piece. The white piece is the, is the part that goes on top of the disc. And you can see how if you, if you hold the top and you turn the bottom um, counterclockwise, it'll, it'll snap out of there. So I'm going to show you how that works real quick. So I'll hold this, I'll hold the bottom and I'll turn the top. I'll turn the top clockwise actually. Yeah, yeah. So hold the bottom stationary, turn this one clockwise, just a tenth of a turn, just very little, a few degrees. 
and then this comes right out. There's a washer in here. Don't lose that. I'll set that aside. Okay, actually, we probably don't need to remove that white arm. Okay, so what I'm gonna, I'm gonna first do here is I'm gonna use this. This is an air pump that you can use to you know clean dust off of cameras and that sort of thing. So first I'm gonna go in there and try and clean that dust off with this best I can. It's kind of difficult to see if we can. Yeah, let's see if this will work. Just getting it to focus. That, that closed is hard. You now see how dirty that is. Almost looks like there's a hair or something on there too. So I'm gonna go in there with this blower. Let's see if I can get some of that dust off of there. See, all that dust went away. A lot of that dust went away. So that's the first thing you'd want to do is use the hit it with some. So you can see it. I'd say ninety percent of that dust is off of there now. I'm just going to hit it from a different angle here a few times and then I'm going to show you one more thing I do. I kind of found a better spot to put the camera so, so I'm just going to hit this with a little bit more air. Like I said a lot of it came off when I Hit it before with the air. Now, the only other thing I do is I'll take a Q tip, and these are kind of a pointed Q tip. You can get these at Walmart and other places. They're a little bit more tightly wound, so they're not quite as fuzzy. And just you can just gently kind of go over the lens with this. Get in the way a little bit. Just be real gentle. Some people use alcohol. Um, other people use glass cleaner, but you never know if there's a coating on there that might be sensitive to that. So, and in this particular case. Let's get a little close up again. You know, that thing looks a lot cleaner than it used to. So, I think um, I think we're good to go. Most of the time, these lenses really aren't that dirty, but it doesn't hurt cleaning them if you're gentle with it. So, I'm going to um, reassemble here, get the discs back in. Pop back on. All right, now we'll put the spindle back in. Sorry about that delay. This is what the spindle looks like. That's the part that sits on top of the disc. 
There's our washer. And we're just going to slide this underneath here. And snap this back on with rotating it. Okay. Now, let's see if that disc loads in there properly. There we go. Now, I'm going to unplug it in real quick. Top back on. Alright, now let's see if this disc will play after cleaning the lens. Track 19. Oh, it's working. See, the lens was dirty and that... Let's see if it'll go to the next track. Let's go to track 4. Yep. See, the CD plays now. So that that does show that you know if you've got a CD player that's struggling, um, check that lens. You saw how dirty this one was, and actually blowing some air on it just clean 90% of it off of there, and then get a soft Q-tip, push off any remaining dust and give it a go. But this one is playing, so I'll even turn the volume up a little bit. Can't play too much of that because YouTube will give me a copyright strike. But anyway, that's one way to go about cleaning your CD player laser lens. If you're Units having a hard time playing or skipping or whatnot. So that's all I had for this. Sorry about the mix up and the long video, but it was a good demonstration, I think, ultimately. So thanks for viewing.